Wow, smoke flying off the top. Boom, bang goes the can. That's the nitrogen making it sound like Concorde taking off there. That's fantastic. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another can cracking episode of A Beer with Bob. Tonight's episode titled The Barista is in the Building. We are tonight indulging in a stout. Remove all preconceptions of stout being a prehistoric drink. This one tonight, well, it ain't no dinosaur. We are tasting Brewdog and Evil Twins collaboration that is Roaster Coaster. Yes, a Nitro Imperial Vietnamese coffee stout. Quite a long one to get your tongue round there. So Brewdog and Evil Twin, two great breweries, really brew some really nice craft beers. And Nitro Imperial Vietnamese coffee stout. Now, what does that mean? So nitro, nitrogen infused, there's a widget in the can. The can says it's 440 mils in size, but there's only 402 mils of liquid inside it. That's the widget doing this. So this drink's got the nitrogen. It's gonna be creamy and, and foamy, very similar to other stouts or similar drinks like Guinness. Uh, John Smith's, if we can remember that one with the widget in the can of Jack D doing the adverts. Vietnamese coffee. Now, Vietnamese coffee is a very strong, slow brewed coffee. And it's often served with condensed milk on the side. So what we're going to be looking for here is big coffee flavours with a sugary creaminess to the drink. So... That's interesting. And what is an imperial stout? An imperial stout is a stronger stout. Imperial stouts have higher ABVs than regular stouts. And high ABV indeed is what this one has. This is 9% ABV. That's right, 9%, a strong one we have here. So the can itself, it's got Roaster Coaster emblazoned across the front. It's telling us who's brewing it. It's giving us what it's all about. So it's fairly informative. Right down here, it gives us the small print of how strong it is and the size here. Reading the back of it, Columbus and Copenhagen twin for a wonderful milk stout on this transatlantic road trip, uniting the estates and the kingdom. Sounds good. You know, I'm, I'm intrigued. It's, it's already doing enough to excite me, enough to want to open it up. So uh, let's, let's open her up. Wow, smoke flying off the top. Boom, bang goes the can. That's the nitrogen making it sound like Concorde taking off there. That's fantastic. Wow, well, let's pour it into the glass here. Going for a larger Stein style glass today pouring it straight in. Remember when you're pouring your beer, get a good head on it because a beer with no head is dead. That's right, remember that. Let's pour it in. The last few drops trickling out like an espresso from your local Italian deli. And look at it settling. Well, it's settling similar to a Guinness. The, the clouds clearing, the mist rising, that creamy head that's at the top there. Look at it, look at the way that settles. Almost like a coffee, you know, the crema settling with your espresso there. That look, looks lovely. Just wait there for that sail there. So it's, it looks thick and full-bodied and tanned at the top and creamy. It's like the female cast of Baywatch, really. Thick and creamy and full-bodied and, you know, tanned. Wow, fantastic. It's really starting to settle now. The, the bottom of the beer is black. You know, if you hold it to the light, I think sometimes if you can hold beer to the light, you can see different colors within the black. This one is black. It's, there's no different shades appearing in there. So let's give it a good smell. I start off with chocolate pudding. Then I get coffee. 
abundance of coffee, rich. It's almost like a tiramisu smell, a good old tiramisu. Let's taste her, let's taste her. Oh, mm. chocolates, caramel, coffee. It's very much like a sweet coffee, a chocolate brownie. In fact, if you go to the supermarket and get one of those fridge milkshakes, you can get a chocolate brownie version of one of those. Depth charger, a shot of espresso into it. That's exactly what you're getting here. This is 9%. It doesn't taste anything like 9%. Mmm. Thick and creamy and unctuous, delicious. This is a lovely, lovely, strong beer. It's thick and creamy and luscious. It's three quid from Tesco's. Go buy a can. This Roaster Coaster Brewdog and Evil Twin is a 4.1 Bob beer. Until next time, people, stay safe and keep drinking. Mm -hmm.